Got a call from a guy named Scott, and he's got a 1964 Chevy truck that he wants to get fixed up for his kid. It's a heck of a gift for a 16-year-old. We love old cars. We love fixing them up. Holy shit, there it is oh, right there. Yeah. It's sitting on its own rubber, too. I've always taken things apart and put things together since I was a little kid. Good cop, bad cop? I'm a good cop. Scott, I'm Jeff. So this is your baby? It is. What's the story on the truck? I was my dad. He passed a few years ago, and I kind of got the truck. This is a 1964 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck with a redesigned conventional curved windshield. The only body options available were either a short bed or a long bed. The short bed option really helps set it apart from your granddad's farm truck. I love it when we come across something like this. There's nothing cooler than a dad that has that dream to do something for his kid. I'm Jeff. Good to meet you, Gentry. This Hello. is Lou. You want to turn this baby into a hot rod Chevy. Lou is a talented guy. He can fix almost anything. Lou, what do you realistically think you can do this for? It's going to take all of 20,000. You think you can make this that cool for 20 grand? I think I can come up with something even cooler for 20 grand. I've got the car, all right? You're on. I can tell you right now this door doesn't close, so I see that being a problem. Well, a real man would have had no problem closing that door. Oh, what do we have here, Lou? 64 Chevy C10. When you could take something that's rusted out, beat up, and is dying, and you can turn it around and make it something that everybody wants, it's a lot of fun. Oh, it's got the 283. This old truck is a lot of work. Lou's got his hands full. We're going to have to take this thing down to the metal, obviously. I think it's game on for Jeff. It's amazing the power of the cash. And I honestly believe I am going to be able to pick up a, for $20,000, a $30,000 vehicle. This is 23.5. There's your contender right there. And look at that. Tell me, Jim, that is, a, not being that is a cool that. looking car. That is business up front, if you're, party in the rear. You're, We've been looking at a few vehicles, and I think I got a good one on the line. Stacy and I are going to hop on the bikes. We're going to run out there and take a look. And I am hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, that this is going to be the vehicle. Hey, David, I'm Jeff. Yeah. It's good to meet you, buddy. How you doing? Good to meet you, sir. What's happening? This is obviously your baby. This is the baby, yeah. Wow. I love it. I love it. This is a 1967 Chevrolet El Camino. Chevy introduced the El Camino in 1959. They called this a coupe utility vehicle because it had a cargo bed in the back and a comfortable roomy cab up front. This was the vehicle you could take your girl to the drive-ins on a Friday night and then show up for work to haul stuff Monday morning. This is classic hot rod Americana. Who doesn't love a 67 El Camino? Yeah. It could be the winner, winner, chicken dinner, and Lou will be crying himself to sleep. Oh, oh nice. nice. I like this car, David. Got a couple million hours into it. It yeah. definitely shows. What are you asking? What are you looking to get? 23.5. I got to have it for $20,000. 20 grand, huh? <laughs> That's a tough one. Cash? Cash money. $20,000, and guess what? You now will have your man cave free and open to move on for your new project. Right. My arm's burning. Come on. Come it's on, Dave. burning. Come on. All right. Put it there. Ah, there you go. You're a good man. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I got the vehicle for the budget I needed to get it for. I don't believe Lou can do what he needs to do to that truck to make it the level of this El Camino. I am fairly confident I'm going to win this one. Huh? Are you kidding me? You're in trouble. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. I mean, if you like really smooth black paint, maybe. Oh, yeah, you nobody. Kind of and nobody does. You didn't find anything out there that's going to go over with that kid like this truck's going to go over with that kid. Is this the same body? This is the same truck. It probably doesn't even run. It's probably a fake motor. <laughs> yes, Listen to that. This is Gramps' truck. Yep. Steroids. You wanted a hot rod, you I'll got a hot that. rod. I'll do that, you guys, uh, you guys did a hell of a job. How can you go wrong with your grandpa's truck all hot rodded out? I mean, there's just no way. That is so sick. Oh, man. <laughs> what do you think of this thing? Is there anything that could be better? 
Not really. There you go. You, you wanted a hot rod, right? Let's see what you think about this. Whoa, it's a 67 El Camino. Now, oh, it's a beautiful car. There's no doubt about it. You want to talk about a hot rod? This is hot rod. I can't believe that you got this for that, but for that money. No racing stripes, racing stripes. You like racing stripes because they match the ones in your shorts. It doesn't get any better. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? He has goatee Bullshit. envy. Yes. There's no goatee envy. I trim this. We could call you Fuzz.